Hi CMH friends, I'm Ramona Williams, the Alexander Specialist for the Children's Museum Houston. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Thank you for joining us for the Early Childhood Corner, sponsored by Katherine G. McGovern and the McGovern Foundation. Today, we are gonna turn those items that are in your home into interactive fun activities for your little one. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety because at the end, I will give you a few tips to take the fun to the next level, vocabulary to explore with your little one, and a book to extend learning. While you're having fun with your little one, think about exploring these vocabulary words to extend their thinking. Catch, release, magnet, and fish. We love a good book, don't we? How about reading Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. and John Marchinball? So for today's activity, we're going fishing. Okay, we might not catch actual fish, but we are going to fish for letters. So here are the supplies you need for today. Tape, scissors, markers, index cards, also some yarn or some type of string, a stick, as well as paper clips and magnets. I took these magnets from my magnetic calendar and you can do the same thing. So anywhere you find magnets, the only thing I would recommend is that you make sure that they're not too small because we don't want them to be a choking hazard. So this activity takes a little bit of prep by the parent or the guardian, but I'm telling you, once you have finished it, your child will have loads of fun. So I'm going to take my index card and write the alphabets on each one of the cards. So here's the first one. Of course, we have A, and you wanna be as neat as possible, helping your child to be able to identify that alphabet. So I have A. I will set it to the side, B, C, and I will go through the entire alphabet the same way. After I put the alphabet on each one of my index cards, I'm going to take my paper clip, and the paper clip goes to the very top of your index card. So I put my paper clip on my C, I will do the same thing for the other two that I have done. But remember, we're going all the way through the alphabet. And I'm going to put my last one that I have here on A. So I have my stick and I'm going to take it and cover it with my yarn. Now, this is just an added little touch. You don't have to do it, but I love how it makes the stick very, very colorful. And again, when you are interacting with your toddler or you select the stick that you would like to use, you can use a stick from the yard, from a tree, um, anything that's around your house. But I recommend that it's not too sharp or not sharp at all um, and that you be careful of any pointed ends. So I'm simply going to take the yarn and go round and round and round and round until the entire stick is covered. Okay, so after I have taken my yarn and wrapped it around my stick, so remember, you don't have to do this part. You could simply tie a knot around the end of your stick and then measure out about a foot, maybe two, that will be the line of your fishing pole that you will attach a magnet to the other end. So here's my magnet. I will simply put the yarn on top, come in with my handy dandy tape, and tape it to the top of the magnet. Now I like it to look neat, I think that looks pretty neat. And here you have your fishing pole that has a magnet at the end. So here I have my container that I have placed all of my alphabets that have the paper clip stuck on top inside of my bend. Here is something that you can do. 
we've done alphabets or we're doing alphabets, you can also do shapes. You can also do different colors, okay? And one of the tips that I'm gonna to add to this particular activity, instead of just pulling out letters, you can also pull out letters and then form words with them. And now we're going to fish for some letters. I am now fishing for my letters and I have an H. What I also want to encourage you to do while you're fishing for letters, oh, let's see, here's an O. I want you to talk to your little one. Make sure that they say the letter that they have identified or pulled or fished out. And I have a P. And once they pull those letters out, you can sound them out and read the word that you have created. So we fished out the word hop. I have another tip for you. How about if you fish out a word that you can act out, how about you act it out? So I have hop, guess what I would do? I would hop, maybe even like a bunny. So that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the activity. Make sure you stay connected with us through the museum's all-time access. I'm Ramona Williams. See you next time. Bye-bye.